Whenever you install any software on your PC, often the installed files will be significantly fragmented. Often that is associated with the way installers install files. They rarely pre-allocate space on the drive that they are being installed onto and many extract and copy the files using more of a data stream process rather than complete file copying. And this data stream process fills the gaps between the files with data from the new program you are installing as it comes across those gaps. And that, as a result, creates significant file fragmentation. So your newly installed software is already going to have reduced loading performance due to file fragmentation. So it takes longer than it should to run the software and if that software, such as a high-end game uh, or simulation, accesses maps or any other data during its operation, then per that performance will be further reduced while you're actually playing that game. And you don't want that, obviously. There's a fra defragmentation program that makes it so easy to immediately optimize the installation of a program right after you install it. All you need to do is go to a command prompt, change to the directory of the newly installed software and run a simple command from the command prompt. Then you just wait a few minutes and your newly installed program is defragmented and ready to perform unhindered by file fragmentation. Now let's see how to do this. I like to fly on my PC and I just installed a copy of the world's favorite flight simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, or FSX as everyone has come to know it. I've installed it many times over the years and when it installs it creates around 30,000 to 40,000 fragments. It's not certainly not where what you want after having just installed a, a software program for it to already be hindered with so much fragmentation. So we've just installed it now we're going to take a quick few minutes to defragment and optimize FSX only. Okay, we've got a lot of other files on this drive but I only want to deal with FSX. So we don't want to defrag that entire drive just the FSX installation and the performance will be improved right from the word go. So let's go ahead and do this now. Okay, so we just installed Microsoft Flight Simulator and just for ease of demonstration I installed it into a folder called FSX just off my C drive. So all you need to do is you need to do start command in here and type in command and it'll bring you to this screen here uh, if it doesn't you need to navigate to this directory by cd backslash fsx then all we need to do is we need to type in the command ultimate defrag asterisk dot asterisk and a slash and what this command will do is it will uh, scan the FSX directory and its subdirectories for all fragmented files and it will quickly go ahead and defragment them. So uh, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to hit enter and if we just give it a moment it just needs to uh, locate the appropriate files and folders in this particular directory. Here we go, it's scanning the folders, it's doing a scan now, and 49,000 files, and it's, all, it's found, if you look here, it's found 29,000 fragments. So that is quite a fragmented installation, and in fact there's 11,000 fragmented files, and that is a lot, that's 25% of the files that you've just installed and it's going through now. It's going to take according to this about seven minutes and we're not going to, well you'll see there that it's actually counting down much quicker um, because it does update as it defragments and um, you know it re-estimates the time left. 
I'm not going to go through the entire defragmentation process in real time. Um, I will fast forward from this point and we will wait for the defragmentation to complete. Now you do also be aware that you do have to have Ultimate Defrag installed. That is a product that you can purchase at www.disctricks.com and it's the only defragmentation software that I'm aware of that you can actually go into a directory and just issue a command to defragment that directory. It saves you having to defragment the entire drive for the purpose of just defragmenting one software installation that you have just installed. Okay, our defragmentation run is coming to a close here. There's only two and a half thousand fragments to go. Uh, it's only been running about six minutes, six and a half minutes, uh, which is not bad considering there were 30,000 fragments and seven gigabytes of fragmented files, which is pretty much about a third of the entire installation or about 40% of the entire installation. So there's just 1,200 fragments to go. So this, this program would have been hindered right from the word go as far as the fragmentation of the files. It would have taken longer to load and especially also to access scenery and so on while you're flying or moving to new areas. And here we go. Now it may or may not give us absolute zero, depends on whether some files had changed during the defrag and no files had changed and here we go. So it's actually completely eliminated all the fragmentation uh, of that FSX installation which is installed with 30,000 fragments which is a lot of fragmentation. And that is how easy it is to defragment a program that you have just installed. Now, if you know that the program you just installed is going to be your favorite program for a while and you want the absolute optimal performance possible from it all the time, then we can move the files to the highest performing areas of your hard drive. And that area of your drive is the outer tracks of the platters. This will improve performance three ways. One, it will defragment the files. Two, it will move the files to the tracks where the transfer rate for data is as much as double. And three, it will pack the files closely together and vastly improve your seek times. Overall, you will get up to four or five times the performance out of your new favorite program, your game or your simulation. Let's now go ahead and do that bearing in mind that we already have just defragmented the files in the previous session. Normally in what we're about to do next it would also defragment the files as well as move them but the files are already defragmented so the program is just going to move the files to the highest performing areas of the hard drive. So let's go ahead and do that now. So in this next stage here, I'm going to show you how to move all of your FSX files to the fastest performing areas of your hard drive. And that is the outer tracks. Okay, the angular velocity here is about double that of the angular velocity here. This is on your drive platters. And the higher angular velocity results in data transfer rates that are about twice as fast. Also because the files are going to be all packed closely together um, it also improves the seek times um, and access times. A typical access time on a file that's randomly uh, 
around your drive would be about 13 milliseconds with all the files placed here on the outer tracks your seek times are going to be around one millisecond and your access times about five or six milliseconds so that alone is about 200 to 250 percent better so all we need to do is we're on our c drive we need to click in settings and we need to i'm in the high performance zone section here and we need to just select files and we just need to select our fsx directory and i'm going to click it over to the left and this means that this particular directory and all the files in it are going to be placed in the high performance areas of the drive platters which is the outer tracks and uh, i'm going to not do anything with compression uh, i'm going to do what's called a fast placement which just places the files in no particular order. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to select the consolidate method and I'm going to select respect high performance and then complete high performance then stop. What this is going to do it is only going to select all the files in the FSX directory and it's going to put them all on the outer tracks then it's going to stop. It's not going to bother defragmenting any other files. Now because I'm recording this screen and it's saving the temporary files to this same drive, it is not going to be performing as well as I would like it to. However, let's get started. I'm not going to do the entire run anyway. I just want to give you an idea of what it does. So we're going to select start. And what it's going to do, it's going to analyze the drive. I haven't defragmented this drive in a long, long time. So there's a lot of fragmentation on this drive. And I keep it this way actually also so I can demonstrate some defragmentation routines. Now, if you look on the legend here, anything that's bright green is files that are slated to go to the high performance area. You can see here these, and that is only going to be the FSX files. And you can see here that they're all around the drive, okay? There are files like the entire installation of FSX is fragmented. The individual files are defragmented, but the entire FSX is going to be performing in a way just like a fragmented file because it's got to jump, your hard drive heads have to jump all around the drive to pick up all the different files that it needs. So the actual installation itself is fragmented and whilst the individual files are defragmented. And that's what we are doing here. You'll see here it's moving these files, it's filling up these outer uh, cluster blocks here with FSX files. And you can see here, if I click on a particular block, all these files here are only files from the FSX subdirectory. So it's moving everything out and only moving the FSX files and putting them all together on the outer tracks. And you can see see here these blocks are flashing all over the drive. That means that those files that are picking up not shown as these dark green because they're mixed amongst a lot of other files. So it shows how bad this particular installation is. It's all over the drive. And what we are doing is we're moving them all to the fastest performing areas of the drive which is these faster outer tracks and they're faster because the angular momentum is faster and we're packing them together so your hard drive heads really only need to stay in place over the one area of your platter to pick up the files when you're running the software um, when you launch it when you're changing aircraft when you're when it's accessing scenery from your hard drive Okay, so, and that is what it is doing. And it's actually performing better than I thought it would considering it is writing temporary files to this drive because I'm recording the screen. So, and here we go. So it's doing, doing nicely. And again, we just, I can click in all these blocks and they're all FSX files. Okay, none of them are any other programs. If I click here on these blue blocks, you'll see that like these are Windows files in the blue blocks. And 
what we've done, we're going to be giving priority to FSX over these Windows files. So in a minute, it's going to, it's about to get to that particular cluster block here, and it's going to move those files out of the way. So if we just wait a moment here. Okay, pause for a moment because it's probably writing some temp files from the video recording. <clears throat> in a minute, once it gets past this block, I'm going to click in there again. And we're going to see that those Windows font files have moved out. So here we go, click away, I'm going to click back in that blocks. And those particular files have now been replaced by the FSX files. Okay, and you can do this with any program. Um, there are so many ways you can select files to go into the high performance. Particularly, the best thing I like to use is the automatic, where it only gets all the files, in this case, that I've used in the past 30 days, which is going to be most of the program files I regularly use, the DLLs, the data files, and it's going to put those in the outer tracks there. But for now, we've just selected FSX, and it's going to go ahead and put the entire FSX installation on these outer, faster-performing areas of your platters. And I'm going to stop this now, because you've got a good idea of what the program does. And you can do this with any software you've just installed, and particularly any software that you know it's going to be your favorite for a while and you want the best performance all the time. You can do it with games, applications, simulations, any files that you want. Okay, and that is that. The program is Ultimate Defrag. It is more than just a defrag program. It is a hard drive file placement optimizer. And you can get it at www.districts.com. It's $29.95. For $29.95, you're allowed to install it on three PCs, which is a pretty good deal. Ten bucks per PC to be able to improve that raw performance by up to 500%. Okay, so it's a, it's a great program. It's fun to watch it do its thing. Um, I, I sit here for hours uh, watching it. Just I love watching files be moved uh, into better positions and so on. There's so many things you can do with this program as far as moving files to exactly where you want them to go. And that includes your system files, okay, such as your master fire t file table, your swap file, and so on. Like, for example, here's my MFT. My MFT is actually fragmented. If I look here, it's in three fragments. Okay, and you can't defragment the MFT live. You have to do it in a what's called a boot time defrag, where it runs before it fully loads Windows. It runs about the same stage that you will run um, that, that check disk starts. Okay, so it's before the main kernel of Windows loads. Um, and you can put your MFT in op an optimal position. Okay, theoretically, the best place to put your MFT is about a third of the way in from the bulk of your data. And I'm pretty close. Well, yeah, I, I guess I'm rel rel reasonably close. This is where I chose to put it. Um, but you can move it wherever you want, and you can do that with your page file and other system files that you can't do this with any other program. You can specifically say, I want the MFT, I want it to sit there on the drive, right in the middle, um, which is a pretty cool feature. And you can't do that with any other software out there. This is the only software on planet Earth that lets you do that. Okay, so it's a great bit of software, www.disctricks.com. Thank you.